Hey, good morning. This is Pastor Harvey Beck at Lester Memorial. Um, this is January the 4th. This is a Wednesday devotion. If you're joining us for the first time, we're glad you're with us. Um, last Sunday, I talked about, it was January the 1st, so the, oftentimes sermons are geared toward, you know, making some type of discipleship, uh, spiritual formation, quiet time with God. And I had used these three statements repeatedly, and I'll repeat them again. I said that as, as you face a new year, and I continue to say this, three words were the words, seek God, and then surrender to God. When's the last time you asked and surrendered to the Holy Spirit? So to seek God is an important word. To surrender to God is an important word. And then also to serve God. So those three things are extremely important in spiritual formation and discipleship and growing as a believer. Um, and there's different ways we can seek God. There's different ways he requires us to surrender. And there's a whole lot of ways he expects us to serve him and others. So uh, I'm going to continue with that theme, but I'm going to focus on the word seeking God. And I'm going to continue to even preach on that this coming Sunday. But let me just first give you a couple of scriptures that talk about uh, the word seek. And then let's talk about it. Psalms 27, 8. You have said seek my face and my heart says to you your your face lord do i seek and so the psalmist is saying god you you've said to me seek my face well my heart says i do i, I seek your face and then in hebrews eleven six, a passage that had a big influence on part of my call on my life to go into ministry that i knew i'd have to operate in faith but i like to listen to the last words and without faith, this is Hebrews eleven six. without faith, it is impossible to please God. It's impossible to please him without faith. For whoever would draw near to God must believe that he exists and that God is a rewarder of those who seek him. So God rewards those who seek him. So definitely seeking God has got to be an important thing. Jeremiah 29, 13, Jeremiah said it this way. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with your whole heart. The Hebrew word for face, the Hebrew word for face in the Old Testament is often translated presence, the presence of God. So when we, when we seek the face of God, we are seeking his presence. We want to be with him. We want to be near him. To call to seek, the call to seek, God's face was issued to his people because they had abandoned him and they needed to return to him. So God said, seek me for who I am. Seek my face. You know, the, the face, and of course, you're looking at my face right now, and it has changed. It's gotten older. I can tell that by looking at myself in the camera right now. Um, but there are very few peace, people that we get very, very close to to our faces with. Most of the time, it's our immediate family. We have some friends that we may get closer to, but most of the time, we keep our distance and our, there's a space, sort of, but there are those who we get intimately close with, no more than our spouse. Uh, do we know that face better than anyone? Lana and I have been married for 43 years, and so our face uh, is close to one another often, each day. And so um, that... That means relationship. That means intimacy. And so God is asking us to get that close to him, to get so close that we we want relationship. We seek him to be with him. And again, the word seek in the Old Testament, in the Hebrew, refers to his presence. Um, our grandchildren. Oh, my goodness. Y'all know I'll... Y'all, if you're a grandparent, you know, you just, you just, those little rascals, you just love them. Of course, uh, well, I have three, Madeline, Favor, and... And uh, then a little Willa. And y'all know this because I love to use illustrations about them. But again, we get close to them. They get right up in our face. And sometimes when they're little, you've got children and grandchildren do the same thing. You teach them, this is my nose, ears, eyes. And you hope they don't poke you in the eye, mouth. And I know Willa now that she's just loves them too, but she'll put her hands on my face. There's a closeness that God is asking us to, to enter into. 
And so our discipleship, our spiritual formation about seeking God and surrendering him to serving him is about a desire to be close to him, to be in his presence. So that's a lot of what it means in the Old and New Testament to seek God. Jesus asked a question when he called the first disciples. He said, what do you seek? I'm going to use that as a sermon title this coming Sunday. So just think about what if Jesus asked you that? What do you seek? What do you seek? Of course, the Bible repeatedly. I'm only giving you a few verses that talk about seeking God. Some of you may have watched the NFL football game the other night, the player that got injured. Uh, and you could see on the teammates' faces, if you saw any of it, if you watched the video the next day or two, of course, the guy's still in critical condition. But you could see on the faces of the players that they were concerned. There is something about the face that is important to us. And so God has said to us, seek my face. When we approach God, prayer, through prayer, through the word, and when we worship, we are seeking his face. A person's face reveals much about his or her character and their personality. We see the inward emotions like we did on those football players. We see the inward emotions of a person expressed outwardly on the face. We recognize a person by looking at his or her face. In a sense, one's face represents kind of the whole person. We can tell when someone looks anxious or just stressed. Sometimes I can see it on my own face when I look in the mirror. But when we seek God, we're seeking his presence. Who may ascend the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? The the one who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not trust in an idol or swear by a false god, they will receive blessing from the Lord and vindication from God their Savior. Such is the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face, O God of Jacob. And that is Psalms 24, 36. I just continue to encourage you, if you're listening or if you're part of the Connected to Our Church, it is so important that we have a plan of some way of seeking the face of God. I hope that you'll seek the face of God today and get intimately close to him and let that be your desire this coming new year in 2023. I believe it's going to be extremely important that we seek the face of God. Love you. Have a golden day. Bye-bye.